Uh, the audio seems to be working. Uh, let me just make sure. Hopefully the music's going through. Not 100% sure if it is. Turn it up just a smidge. There we go. All right. Hey, everybody on YouTube, now and in the future, your boy, the Memphis Accelerating tonight. We're live streaming on EDO Pro. Yep. We're playing as some elemental heroes. I dusted off an old going second E hero slash D hero deck that I made a while back. And the reason we're doing it tonight is because. As you can see, we lost our boy. Even in Libra. Yeah. Yeah, it's a damn shame. Only 60 years old. He was young. My boy Kazuki was a young boy. Damn shame. Alright. Ah. Uh. Eh, I don't want any funny names. I'm just gonna buy Yao. Let's go by my name tonight, if I can, if I can spell. Uh, the internet out the whole day, that's a sh- Well, it's good that it's, it came back. It's always a trick when the internet goes out, because, you know, we get very tied up in the internet nowadays, but, you know, it's good to get off every once in a while, but not when it's forced. Alright, I'm just gonna duel some randos, let people cycle in. Yeah, of course. That's why we're on EDO Pro, not, you know, Master Duel, so everyone can duel stuff. That's the plan, anyway. If I can... <laughs> if I can agree with my opponent. Okay, we'll let them go first. Alright, easy enough hand. It's a hand. It's a hand of cards. Ugh. That's all right, Lee. We're going, you know, we're, we're all venting emotions tonight, you know. Our boy Kazuki here passed me. It's, it's weird. It's weird because I didn't know much about the man himself, but like, he said he's the creator of this game that has taken up such a big chunk of my life. And he gone. He shouldn't be gone. He should be, you know, still with us. He should be a... He should have lived to the ripe old age of 102. But he didn't. And now he gone. But, you know, we're going to we're gonna honor our boy Kazuki today with some E-Heroes. Because he designed the Elemental Heroes. Uh, Cause of Death. I don't, I don't know if they've heard that one yet. I'd imagine it's Drowning or something. But let me double check while this guy's doing combos. Let's see. Kazuki Takahashi. Diving accident. It's not very specific. So he either drowned or he like had a heart attack or something while diving. Damn shame. That's the second time scuba diving has taken someone important to me. First it was Steve Irwin, and now it's Kazuki Takahashi. I would say, yeah, E-Heroes e are just, like, overdone for the most part. I mean, that's why I'm trying to... That, you know, I've got a more casual... I'm at, I know I said I wasn't going to do the Destroyer. I'm, I'm going to save this for later. But, you know, if you take E-Heroes in a more casual sense... It's not that bad. It's all about the player, you know? So long as the player chooses not to play the deck in a crazy manner, it's not so bad. And yeah, Konami just loves to pile on the sport for, like, the popular archetypes. That's what they do. Which is a shame. Because I know that they can make good support for other archetypes when they put their minds to it. Uh, what is he doing? 
Oh, he's just activating this. Uh, target drew, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Summon that dude. Ah, uh, let's see. How does this thing work again? Has to be sent to the graveyard. Okay, I can deal with that. Yeah, Konami really, you know, it's hard to make new support that doesn't get broken and so because this game has gotten very complicated over the years. It really had, you have to wonder what Kazuki Takahashi's opinion of modern game is, even. DPs, flash, everything. I agree. And that's kind of why I, you know, I was originally going to just take this out, but I kind of just left it in to keep the deck, you know, as is, but. Yeah, Phoenix Enforcer, it just feels like Konami, or, you know, they didn't really care about, you know, keeping balance with the game. Or at least it wasn't like a top priority for them, or so something. That or somebody over in Konami really just likes D-Heroes too much. Which is weird, because D-Heroes already had plenty of support as it was. Uh, No. I'm going to switch. If I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to die, I'm going to switch out first. All right. So the question is, the king's return? Very well. Uh, and let's go ahead and add the hand trappy one. Uh, so let me, th how do these work again? Okay, so now I've stopped his spell traps are doing stuff. I need a summoner. Let me think about this. So we summon Stratos. Uh, first would be destroy battle. Okay, so let's go ahead and blow stuff up. Stream is smooth. Very nice. So get rid of those so he can't use them no more. Ah, uh, and I got that, unfortunately. Let me think about this. Uh, I don't have a D hero in the grave. Who else can I make right now? I would do Divisor, but I already have Burstinatrix, although I could add other things. Hmm. All right. Hate to do it, but we're going to go for the D hero fusion. Uh, but we're going to make Dystopia instead. Yeah. This way, better feels. Uh, and let's see. I'm going to go ahead and boost up Dystopia. And my opponent surrenders. To be fair, Dark Law. Gonna splurge on anime. I'm sorry you're feeling down, Lee, but here, let me open a room. That way you can start venting with your favorite whatever deck you're using. Uh, let's see. So the password tonight is, of course, gonna be Kazuki. Our boy. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me just uh, leave a note. Uh, hey, baby. All right. A little slow tonight. I guess everyone's busy. Or maybe everyone's having an internet problem. Oh, well. Everyone can catch it later. That's the nice thing about streaming on YouTube. People can just show up whenever. Uh, let's see. Yeah, they have not yet determined Kazuki's cause of death just yet. It's a little early. Oh, there we go. Uh, 
Howdy, sir. Go ahead. I'll see what we got. All right. It's a, it's a bunch of cards. It's a bunch of cards. Good old trap tricks. Good old trappy tricks. Part of that complete breakfast. All right. There's Sarah. There's Parallel Exceed. Um. Let me think about this. Yeah, I guess that's pointless. Yeah. Yeah. Parallel Exceed. It's still amazing to me this card is a normal on Master Duel. Because it's such a good card. For just some generic Exceed spamming. You know? It's pretty nutty. Alright. Oh. Alright. Well, to be fair, I got one of them too. Alright. Now I gotta deal with that. Let's see here. Let's see how this goes. That debates Sarah. Yep. As you do. Let's see here. Um. No, that doesn't help me too much. Uh, sadly, I've top deck into the worst thing I could possibly top deck into. All right. Fair, fair. Uh, oh yeah, increase. I took damage. Haha, ha, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, okay, so I can't do that again. So, let's go for Stratos. Add ourselves a boy. Uh, no. I shall not be negated so easily. Although I think I might miss Increase's effect, but it's still something. Let's see here. Um, a Duster. Oh, that does not miss. Alright, it's touch and go. Touch and go. I need to remember what all my effects do. Because I, I haven't forgotten Replasia. I know. He can still do the thing. Let's see here. Arg. Let me think. So I need that dude. And to get that dude, I need that other dude. Right? Something along those lines. Uh, okay. We'll send that dude. Uh, and I need... This guy, I think. Uh, let me think about this. So if I do that, does that help me not? Let's see. Yeah. No, wait, no. Vion's effect. Oh, ho. I'm, I'm so glad at this point that I had that in perm. It would be very dead if I had not drawn in perm. What do we got? Get that one. Let's do some fun stuff. We're not just going to do the things you think I'm going to do. I'm going to go for this guy. Ah, uh, so we're going to reveal this dude. And get the original E-Heroes. These two were this, these two were made by Kazuki himself, if y'all didn't know. Pretty crazy. Made a whole archetype just to be beloved, and now, well, it's mostly Phoenix and Force nowadays. But we can do other things, and that's what we're gonna do. Ah, uh, shoot! What was my next plan? I forgot. Okay. Honesty Neos. Make my monster grow. And then, magnetic dark calling. 
So we need... Oh, wait, no, I... I guess used the dude in my hand. I didn't need to use that guy anyway. Okay. That's fine. Because I also have Polly Wally. That way I can make Flame Wingman. Hey, hey. And that might be game here. I don't know. I'd have to do the math. Let's see. Is that game? Afraid to say, Libra, that's going to be game. Surprised you didn't use the flays yet. Sorry, my dude. But that's how it goes sometimes. But, you know, you got other chances. Ugh, that was a good duel, though. It's actually, surprised you. That was a quick one. That was very quick. Alright. I'm going to... Hmm. Did I just... You know, I'm going to leave the Phoenix of Forrester guy, but I only have the one copy. I wasn't sure when. It's tricky sometimes with these long combos. Like, when do I drop the bottomless trap hole? Or the whatever trap hole you were going to use. Like, you could have had, like, a time-space trap hole. Probably a good card. Thought I could floodgate evil hero face down. Um, can you not? Uh, let's see. He should be able to. That's weird. Let's see. Maybe it's because it was summoned by the spell. That's not how it works. Like, if you had, like, time-space trap hole, it would work. If I'm not mistaken. Maybe consider one time-space trap hole for things like that. Alright, I'm gonna duel a rando real quick. Libra, you pick your next deck. Uh, Son of Robo. There you go. I will say, I do like how these sleeves turned out. It was a little tricky getting Kazuki's big, glorious head in that helmet, but I did it. Lordy, I know I did it. Alright, what kind of hand is this? Ugh. It's something. I mean, I've got a duster, man. No! Well, don't that just beat all. And once again, I've somehow drawn into increase. Don't ask me how. I play one copy of this, and I've somehow top-decked it twice. It was a little embarrassing, but it's what it is. Alrighty, well, my opponent is just going to be like a Mr. No. All I can tell you about this deck is it's a no deck. You're not allowed. Chloronis, hello. How is it going? We're just playing some heroes. Remembering Kazuki. Remember the good times. Yeah, because, let's see. Like, Yu-Gi-Oh! When did Legend of Blue Eyes come out? That was like in... 2000 or something. Uh, let's see. 2002. That's about when I started Yu-Gi-Oh! Was 2002. Uh, because I remember, like, that, that was when, like, all the kids in my neighborhood had the Yu-Gi-Oh! cards, and they were like, Hey, look at the Yu-Gi-Oh! cards! I was begging my parents, hey, can I get some Yu-Gi-Oh cards? And they were like, sure, <laughs> basically. Took a while to find them, but we found them. And after that, I just started a 20-plus year thing. Just playing Yu-Gi-Oh, learning to play the game. Uh, you know, learning to play it good. It, it took a while to play good Yu-Gi-Oh. But, you know, it, it, was, it was a process that started with just a lot of casual play. There were no heroes there. Heroes took a while. That was GX. Which was like 2006-ish? I want to say. Something to that effect. 
I'm gonna go ahead and deck in the sky real quick. It's been a long road. This game has gone... It's, it's so much different now than it was 20 years ago. Because 20 years ago, it was like pre-GOAT format. It was literally summon pass. Like with no real plan, no nothing. You just had whatever cards you pulled out of a box. Because 20 plus years ago, there was no... Like, it wasn't that there was no internet, but the internet was very basic and like... It was literally just a repository of information and not so much, you know, the, the buying and selling of cards or what have you, all the games and things. I mean, there's like Pong, I would presume. I, I can't remember 20 years ago on the internet, other than like the, the dial-up modem. That's all I remember there. But this game has changed quite a bit. I remember, I, I remember like the big stacks of decks. Did anybody else have one of those? We just have let's see. Anybody shoot cards fit include the fit of fusion of the fusion mode? I was like, can't stop him from fusing, darn. That is unfortunate. Yeah, I remember when I was a kid, like playing with my parents, what was my my dad specifically? We would have the giant stacks of like a thousand plus Yu-Gi-Oh cards. That's still going to be stale again once the new cards come out. People thought Swords all the way until they get Adventure and Fluanderous. Ah, that's true. Fluanderous, man. I never really liked Fluanderous that much. It was, uh... It's just a very floodgate deck, you know? And my opponent forgot to read his card. That only affects face-up things. Or maybe he meant to do that. I have no idea. Ugh... I thought, let, let me tell y'all a little bit of an embarrassing story of early Yu-Gi-Oh for me. Because we're talking like old school Yu-Gi-Oh right now. Um, when was this? Uh, I I, I want to say this was 2007 or 8. Um, Saber Air Bellum. Uh, what was his name? It was Ur? Ur Bellum. There, there he is. I just want to, I want to check the uh, release of a certain card. What does this do? Um, okay. Okay, release, 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 release. Okay. 2009. Okay. Uh, so, uh, hate these meta sheets. Can we please not play Let's Pop? I mean, if, if it's pop, depends on what it is that's, that's popular at the time. Like, if Volcanics became popular, I would still play them. For example. I'm not really, like, a meta guy. I'm more of a play-whatever-deck-I-want-to-play-at-the-time kind of guy. Uh, but yeah. So, on to my story. Uh, so, 2009, about... I was playing Yu-Gi-Oh! I was still very casual about it. Yeah, mechanics are more fair, but yeah, onto my story. Uh, so, playing me some... Uh, what was I was just playing, like, Schoolyard Yu-Gi-Oh! Things like that. And I remember when Synchros were first introduced to the game. Like, that was a big game changer for Yu-Gi-Oh! In terms of, like, the speed of this game and all that good stuff. The game became just very, very fast after that. And I, I remember when Synchros first came out, I, I thought they were dumb. I, I thought that Synchros would not work in, in the game. I thought that it was just a, a silly idea for a card mechanic. Uh, and y'all can laugh at me all you want about this, but you have to understand... That the first synchro I ever saw in my life was X Saber Urbellum. Uh, and if y'all don't remember X Saber Urbellum, I'm gonna bring him up real quick. Uh, let's see, Urbellum. Yeah, this guy. This was the first synchro monster I ever saw in my life. So you understand why I'd think that synchros was a bad idea. You know, like fusions was still like the thing. They didn't have an extra deck, they had the fusion deck when I first started playing. And so, 
Yeah, it's crazy because like synchros became the hotter shit for years, and of course that led into you know, floodgates and things like that, uh, gravity bind, level limit, things like that. Uh, playing crystal Fort Legos and before that used the Egyptian gods, real show rules. Like what were even the rules in the show? Like they they changed the rules constantly in the show. That's the funny thing about the te like the you know people thought about like dueling in the anime. The, the rules in the anime are so, like, all over the place. Alright, well, Lieber, if you want to duel, or if Mr. Cloranus wants to duel, or whoever she wants to duel, let me know. Uh, but yeah, like, the best way to play Yu-Gi-Oh! is, it, it's a very fine balance between the casual and, like, a actual competition. Because Yu-Gi-Oh! is a competitive game, you know? You want to have just enough in your deck to, you know, do what you're doing. And have just enough to, you know, interrupt your opponent in some ways to keep it, like, balanced. You know, like, I think that's why people like GOAT format so much. Because, you know, that you have that. You have enough for you to do your thing. Enough for your opponent to do their thing. You have some interruption. There's not a lot of interrupt in GOAT format. I, I have to open the thing up. There you go. Uh... So, that's the thing about modern Yu-Gi-Oh! Is that people are obsessed with this idea of just, you know, making a giant board of omni-negates and interrupts and floodgates and things. I don't get me wrong, I've played decks like that before, sparingly. You know, I do that. I'm not going to say that I don't, because I do. But that's not how you should play all the time, you know? Variety is key. That's why you should play different stuff. You know, whenever possible. You know, and I've played... You know, you can also play big board makers that are just like OTK decks and things like that. Like, Scraps are a perfect example of that. Where you don't have to just negate everything your opponent do. Just, like, run them over, essentially. And actually, that's what I've been doing in Master Duel recently. I've just been playing a lot of trains. I have a very bare-bones basic train deck. That is literally just make, you know, Gustav, make Libe, boom, Makachu. And I've had a lot of, I, I, I think I had like an eight streak in silver rank when that reset. That was pretty neat. And so it's, it's like, you, you know, a couple negates on the board is not a big deal. A couple, like, not, not to floodgates, maybe like one floodgates, whatever. But it's all about the balance. You know? It's all about the balance. I mean, look at this deck I've got here. I do have a Floodgate in the form of Dark Law. Uh, I don't have any negates, really. Do I have any negates in this whole deck? I don't think I do. Not that I can think of off the top of my head. But, you know, that, that's what you get. You know? A little bit of this, a little bit of that, so then you're good. Okay, so... How do I kill this? I uh, can't be beaten or battle or by card effect. Do I have anything to bounce? I don't remember. Um, I don't know if my deck can kill that. Like, unironically, I don't know if I can do that. Um, uh, okay, well, I guess I'll just... I will do as much combo as I can, attempting to get over that, and we'll see if I can or not. Because, un unironically, I don't think I have an ouch to that at the moment. Alright, let me think about it. There's got to be something in my deck that can deal with a creature like that, right? Right? I don't know if I do. I think I might be doomed. Uh oh. Uh huh. But then you get a perfect example like with Bloom Divas. Omni Negates are not. Well, like if you made one Omni Negate, it's not that big of a deal. But like when you put on two or three, then it's really obnoxious to do that. I would say. Then again, I'm not a meta player. I don't play meta. 
I don't have a very strong opinion on the matter other than they're not very enjoyable. Uh, that guy. Uh, let me think about this. I, I legit don't think I have an out to this creature. I don't have anything that bounces. Like, the best I could... Let me think. Okay, I have, like, one thing I might be able to low-key do. I don't really want to watch D's for far for that much. Although, weirdly enough, when uh, Kazuki passed, I didn't see... Uh, maybe they're making videos on the subject. I don't know. I didn't see no, uh, like, posts from either of them, or Hardleg, for that matter, or Simo about Kazuki, which is kind of weird. A lot of other people did. Kind of weird. Like, it's not like it's a requirement or anything. I'm just saying it was kind of... Would have been nice. That's all. But like I said, maybe they're just doing stuff later. I mean, the thing is, like, DZ is very much an analytical sort of dude. He looks at, like, the cold, hard facts of the game. He's not really into the, like, of the spirit of the game so much as he is. Well, he is a little bit. He's got his moments. Um. Wait, well, it was an accident. That's the thing. He didn't pass away because he, from old age or anything. It was just, an, you know, accident. Like, Steve Irwin was younger, if I'm not mistaken, when he passed. Uh, yeah, shoot. I think I don't know. I don't think I'll stand a chance. I don't have spicy. Good evening. Yeah, we're just talking general, general Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. Talking about Kazuki. Talking about everything. Uh, also, Libra's kicking my butt with a single Bloom Diva. Not even joking, that's just what it's taken right now. Um Shoot, just the fact that I can't destroy this at all. And my deck doesn't have an out to that. Wait, I can make this. Uh oh right, I do have a D hero. You know what? Let's let's make other stuff. Let's make Eh. I summon liquid. And then Liquid Roll Vi... Or, oh, wait, he draws me two cards, discards me. That would have been nice, but, uh, no. Uh, yeah. Alright, I'll set that. Uh, if only it was a little bigger. Um. Hey, if I can't kill this thing, I'm going to run the clock as hard as I can. That's the rule. Uh, yeah. We'll add another hero monster. I do have one thing that can fight against Bloom Diva. I can't use it at the moment. But I have it. Ah, but you see, I can still beat into you with normal summon monsters. You won't do anything. No! My only hope to do anything... Well, so much for the ability to do anything. Um, alright, go ahead. Hey, you know what? I still have a plan. Is that you summon anything other than that Bloom Diva, it's gonna be in trouble. I just... Yeah, because Luki... It's not like he wasn't like as involved with Yu-Gi-Oh anymore, if I'm not mistaken. Cause, like newer cards don't have his name on them like they used to. But you have to wonder what he thought of this game he created. How crazy it is now! Like so many people play it, so many different ways to play it. You know, I would have loved to have just talked to the guy. I could have told him about my Karibo obsession, and he could have told me how he planned to make Elemental Hero Karibo Master all along. I see. Uh, Bloom Harmonis. Uh, okay. 
No, leave my zero alone. Okay, so then this... I think... Oh, yeah, pot. I was about to say, why only take so much? Uh, her effect did not activate. Um... I don't know. Well, it did. It, I took 750 damage. Remember the pot... Uh, oh, wait, why didn't I get destroyed? Yeah, it did work. No, no, no. Like, uh, Bloom Diva inflicts the damage and then destroys the monster, and that's what happened. I took 750... And then I got destroyed. Ah, I see. Uh, let's see. Okay. So now the question is, can I OTK Libra through Bloom Harma? Oh, wait. Aha. Uh -huh. I have an opening. How do I do that opening again? I forget. Uh... A bloom harmonics effect. Oh yeah, that effect. Yeah, that one didn't go off. Yeah, she has to have a clear field there. Uh, thinking. Thinking. Let's see. Summon a vision here. I don't need to do that. What I need to do is... Uh, unfortunately, you're not quite as dead as I'd like. Not yet. Let's see. Nope. All right. I set and I pass. I have I have a plan cooking up. I I have one option and one option only. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, I'm dead. We shall see. Oh, uh, what do we got? Aria. Okay. All right. So I will take seven hundo. Yep. There we go. It's like the one thing my deck is not really prepared for is monsters that can't be destroyed by stuff. If only I had thrown in those three copies of Compulse, but no. I had to be a silly person. Oh, wait, I have Imperm that could stop this, but I don't have Imperm on me. Alright, Libra, now you're in trouble. It's time for the ultimate tech card. I hate doing this because I need my poly, but, you know. I got this. Alright. Grand Merge. Old Slack. But, no. Call by the Grave didn't go off. Uh, curse you. Curse you. Cur what do you call it? Damage calculation. I had one plan and it didn't work. Okay. Plan B. Yeah, that's right. I have a plan B. Who says I don't? Behold. Now we both have monsters that can't be destroyed. Haha. -ha. It's a stalemate. It's a stalemate. <laughs> I should have I, I got called I should have called the honest. But no, I was dumb. I was a dumb dumb. Uh, I, yeah, my 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 big old I I had this big old plan, you know, grand merge into the Cosmo Neos. Um, oh, that destroys all the cards. Never mind, that was a dumb idea. See, it didn't work. And hey, one less honest to worry about. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm pretty much I'm, pre I'm pretty dead unless I draw into Imperm. 
which I don't know if I will ever draw into Imperm, because I... Well, I've got it. Question is, can I draw it before I lose? That's the big question. Um, Yeah, that's it. That's all I can do. That's all I can do. What can I say? Sometimes you win, and sometimes you run into Bloom Diva. Ah, see? Scared. Scared of the power of Bane. Alright. Yeah, if I, if I don't draw in perm in a few turns, I'll probably just... I don't know, man, because... Here's the thing, if I draw in perm, I'm good. If I don't draw in perm, I'm dead. That's kind of just how it goes. Hmm. Ugh. And that's another shame is now, without Kazuki, he's never going to see all those crazy archetypal support cards. Like, he'll never get to see Volcanics. He'll never get to see, like, more Karibos. Oh, no. What if without Kazuki, we never get another Karibo? Ah, uh, can't destroy my card effects. Okay, you, can't, or you can already not be destroyed by card effects. Well, guess what? I have an honest of my own. Ha ha. Finally. Damage. Ha ha. Alright, well. Little victories. Uh. Come forth, Stratos. I uh, will blow up that back row. I don't trust it. Probably Solemn Johnson or something. I'll see how this is going to go. Okay, I, I can see what you're putting up. I'm putting down. I see. I see how it is. I'll see what you're picking and putting. Picking and putting down. This is literally like an unbeatable force versus an immovable object situation where we have very similar... Well, Libra's got a monster that I can't really deal with. I'd like to join the duelist, but oh, sure thing, spicy. As soon as I'm done with Libra, and if I don't draw him permanent a few turns, I'll probably just call it, and Libra can, you know, say that he kicked my butt. Which, to be fair, he did. Uh oh, man, I'm very tempted to just start attacking into that. Oh, but should I? Let's see. Let me think about this. Okay. This is going to seem very dumb. But you know what? Screw it. I don't have all night. Go draw hand. Attack. Do no damage. I might not do damage, but my monster's big. Aha. The last honest. Exactly as I'd hoped. All right. Let me think about this. Who's out of options? Not me. I'm just trying to deck thin as much as possible to get that imperm that I need to get rid of Bloom Diva. Um. Cross Crusader. So I bring that draw guy. Does he like draw me a card? He does. See? This is all part of the plan. Uh, let's see. Add a hero. Okay. Tribute this guy. Tribute that guy. Add Spirit of Neos. Yes. And then set one card and pass. And then standby phase, let's draw some more cards so I can get into that imperm that I need to win. See? What we got? You and your feet! Uh. All right. It is what it is. 
I wonder what Kazuki. I mean, I know Kazuki made the elemental heroes. I wonder what his opinion is on the D heroes and all the other weird hero rip. Or <laughs> I was gonna say rip off spin off. I would imagine he was. I don't know. I imagine he created the vision here because this is like from the. Well, maybe he didn't. Actually, I don't, I don't think he made the Vision Heroes so much, but he did make the E-Heroes. Maybe he also helped with the Vision Heroes. That's a good question. Because they are very different from the E-Heroes. One, I would have to wonder. Alright. Um, mass change. Time to get Law up in here. Yeah, that's right. I'm taking this serious now. The weighted clothes are off. And it is time for the impermanence. Aha. So now what you're gonna do? Oh. You're still gonna do that. Ah, Arya. That insurmountable defense. That extra defense. I still need to finish that, uh, what do you call it? I was designing that Layer of Darkness Melodious thing. I gotta finish that one. I know that'll be my next Yu-Gi-Oh! project. Very busy with all the other yu well, not Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff, but the, um... What you call it? Like the Pokemon and the Final Fantasy. I, I've actually already recorded the next Pokemon episode. That way I've got extra time for grinding. Uh, but yeah, I, I gotta do the grinding for Final Fantasy still, which I don't think will take as long as the Pokemon grinding. At least I would hope so. Alright, I can't kill that. Can't be beaten in battle. Nope, but you still take the damage. Um, You're on a two-turn clock, Libra. Better think of something. Or else Mr. Decimate are gonna decimate. Woo! Is that a 23-turn duel? That's crazy. Uh-oh. Okay. For a second there, I thought I was gonna be more honest. We made mass heroes. That was Jaden's ultimate deck of the month. Oh yeah, that's right. The those guys. I always forget about mass heroes. Like, I mean, there's Dark Law, but there's like the, all the other ones too. Sherbert, I see. The power of Sherbert compels me. Like, Bass Heroes, like, the, the idea of the Bass Heroes are pretty cool. It's just weird that, like, the Dark Law was the one that was the most busted one, I guess you could call it. He's just really good compared to the other Mass Heroes. I can't even remember. Like, Goka, the Fire one, he wasn't that great. He does stuff, but he just doesn't do much. New Pokemon, yeah. First episode was out, and the second one will be up in a few days. All I am grinding. It's actually just replaced a lot of Pokemon on my team, because I finally found some fusion Pokemon. So I kind of replaced a few dudes, so I got to do a lot, of, a lot of extra grinding. Um... I think you might be lit. Wait a minute. You can't trick me. You probably have score in your hand, I would imagine. Oh. I'll risk it for a biscuit. Uh, is that game? That is exactly game. Oh my goodness. That was a great duel. Whoo! What on earth was his set card that didn't do? I thought for the, I thought that was gonna be like a a negate of some form, but 
I guess not. Good game, Libra. Good game. Whew. All right. Uh, and remember, Spicy, that the new password is Kazuki. In honor of our boy. Yep. K-A-Z-U-K-I. Uh, that was a great duel. See, you don't need negates to have a good duel. They had no negates other than, like, the call of the grave. That was it. Everything else is just pure, clean stuff. Summon extra fairy. Ah, oh, you're trying to spook me. You can't spook me that easy. You have to try a little bit harder. Because I'm too, like, surreal and stuff to be fooled that easy. I mean, I was hesitant with all, all the honest, but I, I thought for a second you had uh, Solo in your hand. You know, the new Melodious, or the, the Melodious Hand Trap. Oh, uh, but yeah, speaking of Pokemon, like, yeah, I did, I did the Pokemon grind and uh, made a second. You know, I just went ahead and made the second episode, and now I just gotta grind more. Gotta grind a little bit more, because I just got all these fusions, and they're all low level. But I'm looking forward to it, because I got a lot of Pokemon I didn't, uh, it was score. Oh, you had, wait, you had score? Oh, oh no, you had, okay. Just waiting for... Yeah, score. I, I was worried about score. I was worried about score. Not no face downs. Uh, the password is Kazuki. Don't run score. What? But she's an extra. She's an extra honest. But yeah, spicy. Uh, the. I can't. I can't write it in here for some reason. There you go. You found it. Uh, well, yeah, Pokemon. Uh, I got just want to talk about Pokemon. Sorry. So we're, we're still going with the Pokemon. I'm, I still see glitches in the new, in the this n supposedly newer version of the Pokemon Fusion Generation. I'm a little worried that Necro still gave me a dated copy or something. So there is a slight possibility I won't be able to finish this game either. I'm still going to keep playing it, obviously, but. Like you'll see it in the next episode what I'm talking about. Little iffy. Little little iffy. Little iffy. But we'll see. In honor of Kazuki, I'm playing a deck from one of the best formats. Duelist a lot. Ooh. Oh. <gasps> the set two pass? Oh no, it's the Teller Knights. Okay. Ah, it's the Teller Knights. The summoned they do stuff archetype. Uh, let me think about this. Hmm. Thinking about this. I summon Liquid Man. It activate mass change. Aha. Exactly was my plan. Kinda. Uh, yeah, move. This is not all that cool. I remember playing them with Lair. That was pretty cool. It's funny how many different decks you can make, like, differently just by adding Layer of Darkness. You know, Rikas, you combine them with, you know, the, the Lair and some stuff, and you can tribute post monsters and. You got Satellar Knights, which was just kind of like a funny little thing I did. Uh, let's see what else is there. Uh, Starry Knights, that was a really good one. I really like enjoy. I really enjoyed combining Layer of Darkness with the Satel or the not Satellar Knights, but Starry Knights. That was cool. Actually, funnily, I was playing the the uh, the Unchained Destruction deck the other day. And I saw the Rickas have this new field spell that is literally just what I was doing with the Layer of Darkness Ricka deck. You know, tributing your opponent's monsters to do the effects. And I'm like, those guys stole my idea. I mean, they didn't literally steal my idea, but, you know, it felt like they did. Uh, okay, so what does it do? 
Bonnet can have eight cards when they summon, when you summon, okay. Tap the tier, target a card, blow it up, I see. Um, less damage. Aha. Uh -huh. I had a plan. See, I, I had a plan. I was cooking stuff up. I was cooking some things up. I'm not dead quite yet, thank you. Anti-spell school. Well, we'll see about that. I mean, I've got several spell cards. I even have a monster card. So we'll see who's screwed over just yet. I mean, two of the three spells I have do stuff. I see. Spicy's trying to run me over before I can do that. Of course, now Spicy can't use his own spells. Granted, the tellers don't really care about the spells. They're more of a trap bunch. They're a trappy bunch, one might say. Oh, what else? Yeah, I'm really, I'm really enjoying getting back into Final Fantasy VI as well. You know? Like, I, I can't remember any of the game at all. Except for, like, little tidbits here and there. Uh, nope. Because I've got a hero lives. Uh, come forth. Uh, who do I want, actually? Let me think about that. I mean, it's just going to be Stratos. Yeah, six. It, it harkens back to the older days of, like, gaming in general. Just like, not just the graphics, just how you're playing it, what you're doing in it. It's a lot of fun. I enjoy it. Gotta, like, keep up the grind and stuff. Let's see. Um, the sky. Yes. Yeah, I gotta grind it. I feel like the grinding, like I said, in 6 won't be as bad as with Pokemon. Yeah, 6 does have, it has a great story. That's why I want to finish it, so I can, like, remember what the whole story is. Like, I know a lot of it. I don't remember, like, the whole story. Let's see. Um. Let's see. If I destroy this, you get a thing. But it's like, I don't really have a reason not to blow it up. Feed this chain. Oof. Big oof. All right. I see your fiendish chain, and I raised you a divisor. Uh, wait, I can make this? Oh, wait, no, this is the adding of cards. That's right. Right, 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 right. Okay, so we'll get those two. I still have my normal summon. That's cool. Uh, so we'll summon Avion. Summon at the Decimator of Dread. The only Final Fantasy I played was Tactics. Uh, I don't think I ever played Tactics. I remember I played like the Game Boy sequel to, or was it Final Fantasy Twelve? I don't know if that's the same or similar, but that's what I played. No faith in Final Fantasy Sixteen. Well, I haven't heard anything about it, so I couldn't tell you. Could be good. Could be awful. Let me think about this. I can't bring back the one dude. Rados again. And... That guy. Casual born game, no spell, let's see. No spells. Yeah. And that, it happens when a franchise goes a long time. You know, 
they run out of ideas. And to start milking you for nostalgia and stuff. Uh, summon a dude from my hand. You know, that was an idea. Just have a Final Fantasy game that's all mo Well, mostly move. Have a Moogle. Moogle's in the main cast again. That'd be cool. Alrighty. Well, I might be dead. I think I am, but I'm going to fight to the bitter end regardless. Uh, let's see. Do I have a D hero in the grave? I do. Does that help me? Um. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm dead regardless of what I do, so I'm going to do it anyway. Behold. Hey, everyone gets a draw. Hmm. Interesting. Ah, uh, so we'll get Paris here. Yeah, because in Final Fantasy VI, there is a playable Moogle. I don't remember his name, but he does exist. That'd be kind of cool if, like, Moogles are playable or just, like, more present in the story. Soon the guy everyone remembers is going to come out. It'll be sick. I remember the guy that I'm supposed to remember. Oh, you mean like Trevor or whatever his name was. Okay. That guy. I don't know if I can stop that guy. I can try. I'm stuck in the heroes, right? Yes. Uh, send... That guy. Yeah, I think I know who you're talking about. I think. I might be wrong. I also might be about to stop it, as far as I'm aware. We'll find out in a moment. Oh, wait, no, I can't, because I didn't blow up anti-spell. So I can't do the foos. Yeah, on Hindsight. I had the option of blowing that up, and I was dumb, and I didn't. Because I could have fused... Yeah, I, I could have made Wingman, and then I could have made Super Wingman. And destroyed Spicy's board. Dang. Uh, but you know what? If we're going out, we'll let Spicy draw another card. Alright. Spicy, let's say what it is. Let me already know what it is, but go ahead and... Go ahead and do it. Do it. Do it now. Use the force. Young Skywalker, you must use the force. Join me on the dark side of that force. And get me a Big Mac. Yes. Uh, that reminds me of playing Monopoly with the guy. Y'all ever tell, what was it? I, it was like a one-off episode. I was playing Monopoly with Necro and Shim and a friend of Shim's. We had the Star Wars Monopoly. That was fun. Uh, Monopoly, like, you wouldn't think Monopoly's a super, uh, don't think you can kill me. Well, if you kill my board, you'll kill me. You got Trevor. Uh, return, oh yeah, returns everything to the hand. And then that gets banned. But the thing is, you'll play you-know-what, and then I'm dead. Uh, ditch random card. No, my mass change. I didn't really need it, but still. One fifty. Ugh. Yeah, hindsight. If I had just gotten rid of that, gosh darn. What you call it? Anti-spell. The secret boss. Ooh, I like the secret boss. Diamondo. Uh, so what's this guy do again? Uh, neither player can send cards from the deck to the grave. Any card that returns from the grave to the hand is banished. 
Uh, I don't do much of any of that, so I'm good with that. Plus, I'm pretty much dead, so, you know. Yep. Hindsight. I was like, I should leave the anti-spell on the board so that Spicy can't use his spells. And then I'm like, oh wait, he's playing some Teller Knights. They only have like one or two of those. Uh, during either player's turn, plus Dark Monster, I have been to the character. Yeah, that's the thing. That, that's where the, the layer thing came in when I did that. It was like, I can do that. Um, You know what? I defy you. Defiance. I might not win, but I'm going out with a bang. Sucker. Let's see. What do I want to do here? I mean, I could make this dude, but that doesn't do me. Hmm. I don't think it really does anything for me, but I will do it anyway. Let's see. That guy. And this dude. Absolute zero. Uh, let's see. Draw two, discard one. Does that help me... Um, maybe? I mean, I'll activate it. We'll see how it goes. Uh, nope. Not really. So what we're going to do here is tribute zero for malicious. Yeah, didn't expect that, did you? I attributed absolute zero. The secret tech. And then I'll just go ahead and attack. The biggest brain play. Tribute my big boss monster for a much smaller monster. Alright, then, yeah, I figured that was going to happen, but, you know, whatever. Uh, so we're going to set all my spell cards for next turn, because I definitely have one of those. Oh, thank you. I, I, I think it's a, it's a nice modest little play, you know? I mean, I'm just like, I gotta do something. End it with Tribber, the main man. Or, maybe let's not do Tribber, if we can help it. I only got 150. I know. If I would just lose 50 more, I could play that one trap that's like, you have 100 life points, draw two cards or whatever. That's what I want to draw into, but I don't have it. I'm sorry, Mr. Spicy, but it was I who had the card games. Aha, but I'm not negated. I mean, that stops everything, but there you go. Imperm, baby! I put it in the exact column I needed it. All right. Time to... Am I going to win this? I have no idea. Uh, let me think about this. Apparently, I have... Wait. Um... Different attributes. Oh, you've got to be shiting me. It really didn't do anything to Spicy. It just made it so I, like, kept the attack points. Uh huh. Summon Vion. Double anti- I'm doubly unable to play spells. I can't play spells so hard, it's crazy. Uh, so let's go ahead. I've already normal summoned. Um, no. Oh, wait, now that was the wrong thing. That was the wrong thing. Um, shoot.
think it's all going to depend on what this set card is, really. No, it, it doesn't. I, I was joking. I live on, like some, I live on in someone stronger. They'll kill you. Exactly. All right. Is this game? I think it is. GG, Spicy. But I'm undefeated tonight. Oh, you had Nibiru? Oh, <laughs> too late for Nibiru, my dude. Too late for him. Oh, woo. Now that is how you have an anime comeback. Woo! All right, Libra is back up. And uh, Cloanus, if you ever want to duel with your Venoms or what have you, let me know. Ugh. That's another thing Kazuki will never get to see is the new Venom support. I hear it's coming soon. Okay, I haven't heard anything about it, but uh, yeah, you have to imagine Konami's running out of old decks to give well they're, they're running out of decks to give support that haven't had support already you know someone prove me right and beat yes Libra you must defeat me in Spicy's place it is the way uh well yeah it's like how, how many GX decks have never been supported let me think like volcanics haven't been supported since they got reload um, Venoms have never been directly supported. What else? Moki Moki has never been supported. Oh, wait, no, they got the one new card, so that, that they technically got supported. Oh, shoot, I'm going first. That's not good. Um, so it's like, it turns like there's, there's, there's still decks that have never been supported directly, but they're running low on them. So at some point, Konami's either going to have to support Venoms and volcanics and iron chains and stuff or they're just gonna like never touch them for whatever reason i think they should touch up on those old decks because it just helps revitalize play you know um yeah i don't have much in terms of an opening hand i'm literally just kind of throwing cards on the table here i'm also wishing i had a scurry dow Shumley gets supported every time Earth-type beasts are added to... Well, technically... Well, yes. But we really... To really support Shumley, we need koalas. And or random Australian fauna. Like kangaroos and stuff. You know? Um, summon a vision hero, which I already have already done. Let's see here. New volcanics went exactly. It's it's weird. Like old pain's been waiting like three years. And to be fair, to to give Konami a little bit of fairness, reload does help a lot. You know, it really does. It's just volcanics need more like stuff. You know. I just need, like, more stuff to go into, because so far it's just been, like, none of that. Um, no, I want that search. I want my Burstina tricks, and I want my Avion, damn it. All right. Um, no. No, that I won't do. I don't got much, but I've got a dark law. I'm like Gohan in the future timeline. Yes, Trunks avenged me. Did Gohan marry a sexy android too? I don't remember that part. I remember Krillin married a sexy android. Duelist Alliance deck because of a reload alone. I see. Wait, yeah, like things like reload, things like shoot, what's it called? Like the scrap, like scrap raptor, scrap wyvern. 
Konami can fix a deck with very little effort. But really, when Volcanics get their support, they, they need, like, the Ice Barrier treatment, essentially. They need a bunch of good stuff that, you know, is more or less locked to Ice Barriers, but still does, you know, it, just, it still does really good stuff for Volcanics. Just a little bit of combo, but, you know, Volcanics will always still be that deck that's all about nuking and burning. Like, we don't need to change the focus of Volcanics. We just need to make it more, a little bit more, more variety of how they get into it and what they, they're building into, you know? Like a big fusion that just blows stuff up would be nice, you know? Just a big old fusion that blows stuff up. Yeah, Curran married, yeah, Curran, uh, Krillin, he, he married Android 18. Gohan married Videl, who is, of course, the daughter of the most powerful character in the Dragon Ball universe, Her Her Hercule. Give him a link one. Okay, I, 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 that's a start, that's a start. But what does the link one do? Is it a searcher or is it an extender? What's more important for... Here's the thing. Ice Barriers have Medallion of the Ice Barrier. Just straight up add an Ice Barrier. I think the Volcanics need something similar. They, need, they just need a card that says add a Volcanic Monster from deck to hand. No restrictions on it. Nothing like that. Just, just give them a straight up Searcher. As a start. As a, just a start. We also... You know, a few main deck monsters... Couple spells, maybe a trap or two, couple fusions. You don't need a lot for volcanics, just like stuff. Just stuff, you know what I mean? Alright. We're going all in, baby. Adds a volcanic and an accelerator. Well, they already have a s accelerator searcher, right? With rocket. Um. Yeah, this guy. Behold. Make it both. Alright, so when it's summoned, search a volcanic. And then do something to allow you to summon a volcanic from your hand. So for an example. That's a start. Then we just need volcanic main deck monsters to do stuff. I mean rocket sum searches blaze accelerator when it summons, so there's there's a start. There's a start. No! I needed that to live. Leave my wingman alone. All right. I see how this is going to go. Um I did not I did not plan for that bit to happen. Oh wait, I forgot about dark law. <laughs> I was like I need this card to live and then I'm like, "Oh wait, dark law's a thing." Magic card Add, but with the cost of burning yourself. I mean, that's not quite like what Volcanics do, but I guess that's something. But but no, no, I, I honestly think Volcanics should just get a searcher that doesn't do... It, it just searches. I mean, Ice Barriers have a searcher that just searches. Ice Barriers are just about as old as... Well, actually, I think they're a little newer than Volcanics. Or are they older? Uh, Volcan uh, Rattelian get two Rattelians. Volcanics get a card that adds scatter shot and reload. Fair. They do do that. Ah, uh, thinking, 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 thinking. I need my miracle fusion right now, but I don't have it. I'm just gonna go for the battle phase. Go forth, wingman. Use the power of wings. But, oh yeah, you're banished. Curse you, Dark Law, you messed up, wingman! Messed me up, man. How could you, Dark Law? I trusted you. Trusted you like a brother from another mother. But it, it really will be interesting when Konami finally does make volcanic support. It'll happen someday, unless Konami just goes bankrupt. Unless that happens. Hold on, Libra. Um, no. It's not ending yet. 
I won't allow it. You know what? I, I don't want I don't want Dark Law right now. Dark Law is being oppressive. I'm just gonna get rid of him. I still have a big beat stick. But it's less of a big beat stick. There you go, you get two turns. And your graveyard is free now. Because you said you said you were having a rough time and you know I wanna give you a fair shot. Dark Law is just I don't even like Dark Law that much. I only have them in here because I can make them. I'm shocked they haven't made a DBZ. Well, they they have um Great Warrior Tyler, but that's like a that was like a Make a Wish thing. But yeah, I, I mean, they, what, what's that one archetype? Twin Fists or whatever. That's kind of Dragon Ball Z. A little bit, maybe, kind of. Called by the grave. On what exact? Oh, okay, that's fair. Uh, dance fuse can be contact fuse. The attack can be a poly. Yeah, that'd be cool. Like I said, I'm pretty sure they. I I, I think Twin Fish is kind of like that, but that would be interesting. But Ami just needs a fresh infusion of some ideas for different styles of things. No! My Wombos! Uh, okay, that's fine. You know what? It's fine. What's the worst that can happen? Actually, let me think. Okay, that could happen. That's probably a bad thing that could happen. Sky Striker here. Honestly, besides volcanics, I would love that. Uh, I would. I just really want Iron Chain to get a support of some form. I knew it. I knew it was that Ant Blossom. Who is it this time? It's just Zeke again. Okay, it's Zeke again. And I'm like. Because I, I did have an idea for playing a, uh, what was it going to be? I was going to do like a Mr. Rune Iron Chain deck, but then I was like, Mr. Rune is really boring, and I don't want to play that. Uh, Cosmo support when? I don't, who knows? Good question. The thing is, like, Cosmos is a pretty complete bunch, like... Like, like, they have their strat, and they do it, too. So I don't know what a new Cosmo would even do. I'm not opposed. I would play the new Cosmo thing, just to have something new to do in Cosmos. It's just weird with Konami. Like, sometimes they'll support a deck, sometimes they don't. And then there's the stuff they keep doing with heroes and dark magicians, especially, and stuff of that nature. You know... If, if, you're, if your deck is used by a main character, it's more likely to get support. Or if it's meta relevant. I say Konami should make a new meta. By supporting all the decks that don't get supported first. That would be my opinion. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see, what do we have for a hand? Um... Curses. I used my poly. Okay. Summon Vion. Ew, that's a lot of spells. Oh, wait, shoot. I forgot about the anchor. Thank you, Increase. You are so useful. Alright. Send to the grave. I have very little I can send to the grave that will actually help. You know, I'll send this guy. Good enough. Alright. Dang. Crusader got hit. Alright. Keep a going, baby. You know what? Let's all just draw a card. 
or not. I mean, geez, Labor, I'm trying to give us free cards, but okay, you don't like you're happy with your hand. That's fine. Uh, what do we have here? Octabana. All right. No, my impain. I needed that for things. Oh. Ah, uh, let's me think about this. Not this time. Call by the grave. Uh oh. What does this do? Oh. Just summons itself. Okay, that's not a big issue. I hope. Whew. Touch and go, touch and go. Very touch and go. Why you do me like that, man? Why you gonna do me like that? All right. Just look at that man down there. Yeah, I can't point at him. But... <sighs> Such a shame. It's never, it's never good when a man dies young. Like, because Duki Takahashi lived a big full life. You know, he, he had his dream, his vision. He created the Yu-Gi-Oh manga. He, he showed the world a game that anybody could play, whether it be casual players or competitive players and you know what we we took that game and we played it the way we wanted to play it and i hope i hope he was content with it i hope he looked at the game we made and like was happy with what we did i'm sorry libra i think i got you again I'm not going to get into religion right now. That's a whole other can of worms. Uh... All right. Is it game, or is it we still waiting for that one? Kinda. Oh. No, I always talk shit about Kinda. Make it still attack it. Yeah. As long as the man was content with the way it go. Although I don't know if he would have appreciated Destroy Phoenix Enforcer too much. Or Dragoon, what? Heracles Bay. Oh. Okay. Ooh, finally. Wait, why can't I? Okay, I don't have Neos. I thought this guy counted as Neos. He does not count as Neos. This is a close game, Libra. Uh. I was gonna search my other copy just because I, I don't need it. Man, that was a close. I, I was for sure that you were gonna summon. I, I'm not sure what you were gonna summon. Um. Throw, yeah, unfortunately, Ray only works once per turn. But yeah, I was thinking. You playing shine? I am. No, I'm not playing shining. But I'm playing the uh, the newer thing. Uh, I'm playing the new one. Let's see. What do we got here? Uh, this thing. Shining Neo Swingman. Because for, uh, for, uh, Flare Wingman, you need a Spark, Spark Man. You need Spark Man for that to work. All right. What, what are we on stream time? Hour 30? Okay. Uh, let me think about it. You know what? We're doing so good. Uh, would Mr. Chloronis want to do a one-on-one? -on -one? 
We'll ask him real quick. You got this? Oh, Loranis is very confident. All right. I don't know. I've been pretty unstoppable tonight. We'll see how it goes. So we're going to get Floronis to turn, and what we're going to do special, normally we do, well, we'll see how it goes with Kalon. If he can, if he loses, I got something special in mind. I got something special for this special episode. A little something different. Ow. All right. My dude says he's got this. All right, I'm going to throw scissors. I said I'd throw scissors. All right, Cloranus. Uh, no extra deck. Okay, so the special surprise is if I lose to Cloranus here, we're just going to we're just going to have y'all well, well, if I beat Cloranus, I'm unbeaten tonight. I'm going to just duel all three y'all at once. That way y'all can kick my butt basically. The name that thing cries out in search of justice. Kaka! It's Chicken Man. He searches for justice. All right, so we're up against Venoms. I she. Let me think about this. Cause I figure like this deck has been pretty beefy. I've gone up against a bunch of different things. I've somehow not lost yet. And so I figure, like, if if I just go undefeated, I'm just going to have all three of you kick my butt. That way we can definitively say whether this deck is a good deck or not. And yes, I'm going into, like, this long combo reel, but at the same time, I, I don't have that much to go into. This looks a lot more impressive than it is. Then we get good old Stratos. Hmm. Can it really be that simple? It is nice when you can play heroes without, like, the busted hero combos. Now, the question is, do I blow up Floronis' back row or not? I feel like I should. At the same time, I feel like this is the part where, aha, I knew there was something. No, my combo pieces! I don't know how much a wash it is. I just got washboarded. I just got washed. Yeah, here... I think peak hero, like, enjoyability was back when they first started. Or, like, soon after. You know, back when we were playing, like, Wingman and Thunder Giant and stuff like that. Maybe up until, like, like Neospatians when it was, like, kooky and crazy. Nowadays, it's just, like, Combo Wombo. All right. Well. Uh, yeah, yeah that, that offering kind of that kind of messed me up. I have a nothing. Yeah, I know they're not good enough anymore, but like, you know. The old heroes were cool. Oh, damage equal reptilian. That's like, what do we get? Reptile attack less than equal to the damage you took. Oh. Oh. I thought it was going to be Phenomenon for a second. Then I'm like, what on earth is this? This face of card returned to the field of the hand. Summon a level three or lower monster from the deck. Interesting. 
I have no idea how you're going to accomplish that, but it's interesting. Huh. Snake Princess, I see. And here's old Memphis just trying to draw into a card he can play. Alright. Let's see what this one is. Oh, Venom Serpent. Okay, but I still have increase. So, like, at the very least, I can do something post-battle. Uh, we'll go for Violent. And... I don't want to just do Stratos again. What else, What other things do we have? Uh, you know, it's a D-boy. It's fine. I'm not looking down at Venoms. I'm just saying I want to do other stuff. Like summoning Draw Hand, so we both get a draw. Oh. Uh-oh. Snake, snake lady, don't snake. Konami, more skull, well, it's always nice to have more skull servants. Or maybe like a spell for skull servants. I don't know what it would do, but probably break a bunch of them. Skull servants are like the most oddly powerful casual deck that exists. It's like you put out the skull servants. It's not that hard to put them in the graveyard. And once you do, they just kind of run people over. Alright, wait, let me think about this. Okay, that works. Ho ho. Now I just gotta hope no more offering to Snake Deity. Yeah, because Skull, Skullbug Myron is like featured in Skull Servant artwork. I would not be surprised if they made that a thing. Ugh, and again, I've got Polly, but I don't have a thing I won't. Let me think. So the question is, does the owner, is the owner of, Sco of, uh, Marin, uh, White Prince? I don't think so. I think that's like a different kid. Could be mistaken. Might not be mistaken, I have no idea. Uh, so please do not have Offering to Snake Deity. If you do, I will cry. Double. Double, double toil and trouble, they say. He is? I always thought that, you know, the kid went looking for Marin. Marin died and came back. And it was, like, adopted by the White family. Once Grover led the fight of Fidesz and King of the Abyss for Pete, until he was ready. Great ruler of the dead. Yeah, I always thought that the, um... Life of me, what was his name? Uh, the King of the Underworld guy was a uh, Skull Servant, like, as a corpse. Because they do dress similarly. Uh, is that game? Wait a minute. Six, let's see, four, fourteen. Yeah, that's game, my dude. Sorry, Chloronis. Unless you've got a face down that'll save you, that's game right there. Okay, well, that is, in fact, a set card that will... Wait. Oh, that does start the battle. All right. I mean, like, what's he gonna do? He's got Venom Boa. I'm not scared of Venom Boa. Sorry to say. Because it's like, you attack into Wingman, you did. You attack into Decimated, you did. 
Uh oh. There's a female dog? I never noticed that one. That one I hadn't noticed. Hmm. I'm still a little iffy about that set card. But I have no other option but to just keep going for it and see what happens. No? Oh, okay. GG, Claw. Well, that was certainly an interesting one. I, I, was, I, I was really worried about the double damage reptile, but I just have too much damage I can put on board. Unfortunate indeed. All righty. You know what? Uh, let's see. One v three. Uh, life points. Uh, I guess twenty four thousand. Eight sixteen. Uh, no, wait. That'd be twenty. Wait. Eight. Six, yeah, twenty four. Twenty four. All right, everybody here. Here, dudes. All right. Come at me. White baking is what's going on during the vacation. Well, yeah, that, that goes for certain. Say we need more people at Konami with just, like, more enjoyable ideas. No, we don't need a more meta game. You know? That can come later for the people who enjoy it that way. We need some more casual stuff that people can just play and enjoy. Bring in new people. All right. So you youngins think just because there's three of you, you can take on little old me? All right. Now, with all this Skull Servant talk, y'all better be, like, all playing Skull Servants. I'm joking. You can play whatever you want. I'm just saying that would be funny. That would be hilarious. All right, hit me. I'm going first, you say. All right, that's what you say. Uh, let me think about this opening hand. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. All right. Add a remental hero. Uh, let's see, what do I even add? I add a very bad opening hand. This is a boss rush duel, exactly. Um, let's get this guy. That'll work. Of course, the, <laughs> I talked the big game, and then I got like a bad opening hand. All right, Pythi, you're up. Pot of extravagance, turn, turn, turn. Give Spicy a card, he doth yarn. Oh. Well! So much for my hopes and dreams. Oh no, I needed those to live. Uh, let's me think here. Do it. I would love to see you OTK when I have 24,000 life points. Oh, it's dust spots. That's definitely something that could do that. Oh, boy. All right. Oh, man. Desk boots. Desk boots. Ugh. Labor's chomping. He's like, give me a turn. I want to tear off his leg. Ugh. Just give me a bite. 
Just checking. Nothing. Nothing. Zero zero one. The guy out. I'm so surprised zero zero one's not banned because of uh, health. This feels like a car that would be banned because of health, but uh, never has been. All righty. Not good for me. Dang, if only my back row had not been blown up. I would have a chance in hell. All right. Actually, one. Well, that's true. But at the same time, you're still an annoying dude. All right, so my OTK'd? Not quite. Close. I still took damage. Oh man, if only I hadn't taken out Rainbow Neos. Uh, so does this thing work again? If I had a death spot, if I would attack defense for a death spot you control. I'll fight if they need to remove clutter, they can do it on their turn. Or they can just keep running with death spot. Uh, at this rate, we might have to do a rematch of this, because I do nothing. But we'll see how that goes. Uh, how does this guy work again? He works like that. Okay. Cooking up an idea. I might have something I can do. We'll see. Yeah, spicy tribute summon a desk bot. That's that's a great idea. Tribute summon um O O seven that you have. Alright, keep watching that time, gentlemen. Boral Sward Dragon, I see. An interesting one, an interesting one. Okay. Let's... Hero Lives. 69, baby. 69. Okay, Spice, you got to do, like, a lot of damage. Uh, so now we're going to add to our hand. Let me think about this. <sighs> this dude. Do I want that dude? Don't worry, I'm not paying attention to you guys talking about Super Poly. <laughs> I know it's total chaos. Like, let's beat him up, boys. Let's let's get him. <laughs> In a very near OTK from desk boots and. Depending on what Libra's playing, it could be a very near OTK from uh, Skull Servants. Ah, uh, let's see. Boral Sword can't be beaten in battle. Okay. Uh, let's see. Ba -da -ba -da. Not Skull Servants? Okay. I mean, it don't matter. It could be whatever you want. All right, so doing that. So we'll normal summon this dude. Hmm, do I have a D hero? 
I don't. I got some stuff cooking up. Let me tell you. Oh, Loki, you're late. We're in the middle of a 3v1 here. Ah, <laughs> oh, Loki, you crazy boy. Are you crazy? I know we love you. All right, so that one. Oh, we got the idea. You get to watch me in my epic comeback here. Uh, where I somehow managed to come back from this. And do that. Yeah, that'll do, that'll take care of all that stuff. Spicy, is that a Nibiru? I can smell Nibiru. Okay, so I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure I know what Mr. Spicy's thinking. He thinking about it. He thinking. He thinking hard. He thinking real hard. Very good. All right. Dark Calling. That guy and this dude. Neos Fusion. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Oh, that didn't activate. Oh, well. Oh, now I can't summon anybody else. Oh, well. You know what? It's a shite ton of damage. Is it as much as I took? I don't think so. Uh, actually, three, six, nine. It's almost as much. It might actually be a little bit more than I took. It's not game. But is something all right your turn libra take your bite do one stream that's just a big relay and i'm taking you don't switch till the person's life went to zero in the relay i have no idea how to set that up it would be cool though arg grand maju i should have known one big boy and I lost my big boy. Uh, what is this? Loop Lupine. Banish monster. Banish another copy of that monster. Gain more LP. Alright, so what are the odds of this being DD Dynamite? Or that being DD Dynamite? Either one could be DD Dynamite. Target Banish monster as your hand. Okay. Macro Quatmoth. I see. Understandable. Very understandable. Uh, let me think about this. Um. Hmm. If it wasn't for macro, but then again. I summon forth Grand Merge. And yeah, you'll get your life points. Go go ahead, get, get your life points. I hope no one needs the graveyard. Well, you might not have a graveyard in a minute.
I know Venom player. I'm trying here. Alright, now Loop Loop Pine gets that back. Will Floranus be able to out? I don't know. We'll find out. Because I got Cosmo Neos. Uh, I think all those light points sleep are gained are going to help Cloranus get his turn. Occupied making a flying saucer. <gasps> Might the breakfast sandwich? Neato. Help, you know, Alter Memphis said, he said, if 600 subs, breakfast sandwich, and it did. There is no trap card. Um, let's see. No. There is no trap card. I'm like Wanda. What trap card? Oh. Uh oh. Venom Thwomp. It's not over. Theranus has a plan, I'm sure. What it is, I have no idea, but he's got a plan. Oh. Oh. This deck is. Bulk? I have not summoned Destroy Phoenix Enforcer once during this entire live stream. I want to put. Wait, did I summon it? No. No, Libra summoned it first, Doom. I have not summoned it. Couldn't chain Dynamite. Uh, that's because of Cosmo. You can't do stuff during the turn he's summoned. Yeah, opponent can activate cards. Opponent can activate, activate their effect. Uh-oh. No! My attack numbers! Alright, well... Oh, I'm so scared of these face downs, though, because I know that these are traps. I have nothing to stop the traps. Mm. Don't do mind games. They hurt my brain. <laughs> um. Okay. Big numbers are big. I know that for a fact. Oh. Well. Offerings to the snake deity, you say? Hmm. Ugh. I don't know. It's gonna have to be. Oh, wait, I can banish Neil's fusion instead. Eh. I don't need it. I've got the power of Libra's Kaiju on my side. Yes! Yes! <laughs> I am the villain of this episode, but that was good. Uh, that was good. Thank you all for that. Woo! And I ended on 6,900 life points. Oh, it was beautiful. Thank y'all for that one. We'll have to do that again next time. Remind me, next stream we gotta do that again. That was great. That was great. I don't know if I have another deck that can combo like heroes do, but I can try. Alrighty, everybody. Well, I've been streaming for about two hours. I'm, I am I gotta get up early for work, so... Thank y'all for doing this. That was great. Y'all had some good teamwork there. You know? Kazoo uh, the spirit of Kazuki was with me. Hold on. Kazuki was me all along, perhaps. His spirit was within me. So thank you, Kazuki Takahashi. You are a great man and you brought us all together. Thank you. Well, hopefully you get to play card games up in heaven. 
All right, everybody. So that'll be it for the stream today. Uh, next week, might do Yu-Gi-Oh! again. Might do another game. I still have to decide that one. Uh, we'll show you how it go. You never know. It's all up in the air until I decide what we're streaming. But thank you for watching. And next time we do EDO Pro Stream, uh, I'll have to try to remember to do this 3v1 thing. Because that, that was fun. That was a lot of fun. That was, uh, I, I legit thought I was dead turn one because of that lightning vortex. Next time, we're going to get you exact. Next time, all three of you just pick Skull Servants. That'll be one hell of a tag duel. All right, everybody. Thank you again for watching. Memphis signing out. Uh, don't know when the next Yu-Gi-Oh! video will be. It's either going to be Monday. Well, might be Tuesday. Might be Tuesday. Probably be better. But thank you for watching. Stay. Say goodnight to Mr. Kazuki Takahashi. I'll see you next time.